Hi, it's Amanda from America Saves. Whether you have a checking or savings account already, one thing that people don't often think about are the benefits of opening and maintaining those accounts. Many young people often choose to bank where their parents bank, and that's fine. But first, if you don't have a checking or savings account just yet, you need to know that it is one of the best and easiest financial decisions that you can make. Not only is a bank or credit union a safe place to store your cash, but they offer a lot of other very helpful resources. For example, having a checking account can make it easier to manage your money and pay your bills. With a checking account, you can deposit paychecks, withdraw cash, and make purchases using a debit card. Plus, many financial institutions offer mobile banking services, making it easy to manage your account from anywhere at any time. A savings account is also an essential tool for building financial security. Having a savings account can help you build the habit of saving, help you prepare for the unexpected and emergencies, fun opportunities, and save for short and long-term goals. One benefit of putting money aside in a savings account versus keeping it as cash or stored in a financial tech platform like Cash App or Venmo or Zelle is that you can also earn interest on your balance and watch your money grow over time, which is free money. From saving for the unexpected to saving for your education, having a savings account is an easy and effective way to accomplish your savings and financial goals. Having both of these accounts allows you to save automatically by having a portion of your paycheck go directly into your savings account. That's called split deposit, or setting up a convenient auto transfer from checking into savings through your bank or credit union. Many financial institutions offer special accounts and services for young people like yourself. So before you open any account, we recommend doing your research by visiting a few different branches to educate yourself about the services they offer or visiting their bank or credit union's website. You'll want to be aware of any fees they'll charge to open or maintain your account and be sure you have an understanding of everything you're going to need to open a non-custodial account. That's separate from your parents if you are already ready for that stage. For example, they may require you to have a driver's license or state ID, but some banks accept alternative forms of identification. Also, if you're under 18, they may require you to open a joint account with your parent or guardian. Oh, and don't forget to bring money to put into your account. By opening a checking and savings account, along with building positive financial habits, you can take control of your finances and build the foundation for a secure financial future. Be sure to check out our resource called How to Choose a Bank or Credit Union to be well prepared for what to look for, what questions to ask, and ensure you are making an informed decision on which financial institution is best for you.